Please welcome Dr. Cristina Sanchez, the molecular biologist who discovered the anti-cancer properties of THC. My name is Cristina Sanchez and I work at Complutense University in Madrid, Spain. And I have been working for the last decade on the anti-tumor effects of cannabinoids. In the early 1960s, Rafi Mishulam from the Hebrew University in Israel characterized the main compound in marijuana producing the psychoactive effects that we all know. The cannabis plant has been known for millennia. After the discovery of this compound that is uh, called THC, it was pretty obvious that uh, this compound had to be acting on the cells, on our organism, through a mechanism, through a molecular mechanism. And in the 1980s, two specific targets for THC were discovered, something that we call cannabinoid receptors. And after the discovery of the receptor, it was obvious that our body has to synthesize something that binds to these receptors. It was pretty obvious that it was something endogenously produced, produced by our own bodies, that was acting through these receptors. And these compounds, these endogenously produced cannabinoids, were found a few years later, and it's what we call the endocannabinoids, because they are produced endogenously inside our bodies. These compounds, the endocannabinoids, together with the receptors, and the enzymes that synthesize, that produce the endocannabinoids and that degrade the endocannabinoids are what we call the endocannabinoid system. And we now know that the endocannabinoid system regulates a lot of biological function. Appetite, food intake, motor behavior, reproduction, and many, many other functions. And that's why the plant has such a wide therapeutic potential. We started working in this project uh, 12, 15 years ago, and it was basically by chance. We were working with astrocytes at that time, and we decided to change the model and work with astrocytoma cells, the tumoral cells. And we observed that when we treated these cells with cannabinoids, uh, THC, the main psychoactive component of cannabis, it was killing the cells in our petri dishes. We were killing the cells. So we thought that we were facing some potential anti-tumoral responses. And then we decided to analyze these compounds in animal models of breast and brain tumors. The results we have obtained are telling us that cannabinoids may be useful for the treatment of breast cancer. We started to do experiments in animal models of glioblastoma, brain tumors. And we observed that they were, cannabinoids were very potent in reducing tumor growth. Cells can die in different ways, and after cannabinoid treatment, they were dying in the clean way. They were committing suicide, which is something you really want when you have a, an anti-tumoral drug. One of the advantages of cannabinoids or cannabinoids, cannabinoid-based medicines would be that they target specifically tumor cells. They do not have any toxic effect on normal, non-tumoral cells. And this is an advantage with respect of standard chemotherapy that target basically everything. When we started to see these anti-tumor and cell killing effects on cancer cells, we decided to set aside our metabolic studies and to focus on, on cancer. I cannot understand why in the States uh, cannabis is under Schedule 1 because it is pretty obvious not only from our work but from work from many other researchers that the plant has a very wide therapeutic potential. We are in contact with doctors in Spain, oncologists, neuro-oncologists and, and breast specialists that are willing to test these compounds in, in human patients. The plant, besides THC, produces cannabidiol. And this compound is very special because it is not psychoactive. It has been demonstrated that it's a very, very potent antioxidant. It protects the brain from stress and from damage, kills cancer cells. And when you combine it with THC, it uh, produces synergistic effects, which means that the effect of THC is potentiated. 
At this point, we have enough preclinical evidence supporting the idea that cannabinoids may have anti-tumoral properties. We, as researchers, should explore in more depth and, and, and be willing to, to try in many different pathologies. Cannabis has an enormous therapeutic potential.